Today we're going to put the motor in the T-Rex 470L. <clears throat> a couple quick things to get started here. I've got the motor mount installed. If, you, uh, if we can get a good view on this, the hollowed out part of the motor mount faces the motor. So I've got the, the machined out parts here. Uh, the flat part is on the bottom. I've put the gear on, so we've got the, the pinion gear on the flat spot. And it's just about as low as you can get a 1.5 millimeter. It's a little right up, right above the, the motor mount itself. And I essentially installed the, put the bolt in and moved it around. You can feel it sliding on that um, machine slot in the, in the main shaft, in the motor shaft. So I move it to the bottom, tighten it up. This is about ready to go in. Now I've left the motor mount itself a little bit loose because we're going to have to move this here in a minute. I've got my bolts prepped to put this in the frame. We're going to drop this into the frame from the top. Let me see if I can do it this way. I want to get that wiring out the front. Okay, a little bit of fiddling there. Slide it back close to the, the main gear. All I really need to do at this point is get my four two mil, two and a half mil screws here. Through the motor mount reinforcement. I had these kind of prepped already with thread lock. Got that side lined up using a two millimeter driver here. Let's guy on its side. Oops, we'll get back to that one. Stay out of the view of the camera here a little bit. Okay, so if we can get a view in here, I've got a piece of paper cut from the manual uh, between the pinion gear and the main gear. I still got the motor slightly loose. You have two options here. You need to remove the belly plate to use a normal driver, or I've got an extended power driver tip here that I can make it in through here. I'm pushing the motor back against the main gear. I'm just going to tighten up those two bolts. This would probably be easier if you were to take the bottom off. So that's tight. Got the motor installed and we're going to come back put speed controller in at some point. I also use the top of the motor to level off the uh, to use for my uh, swash leveler as my zero reference for setting up the rest of the helicopter. Be right back.